What's up everybody? So we had a rain past few days. Uh, tonight looks like it's coming this way. Periodically you'll see some lightning show over that way, so it's heading our way now. Um, but we wanted to come out and see what we could find and right off the bat we found this little puddle and I mean this thing is teeming with life. I mean look, there's, what is this? This looks like a leopard frog right there. Right here on my right, I didn't even notice him. There's a big old Colorado river toad. Beautiful Colorado. Uh, let's see, that leopard jumped right into the bush there. There's another one in the water here. What's this? It's Colorado. Another Colorado. Smaller oh. Colorado. Watch your step. There's mud right there, baby. Yeah, I figured that out. Yeah, if you look that way, you kind of see some eyes. There's some more jumping over there. There's one actually leaping right there. And this Colorado's dipping out. We got too close and he's dipping. He was soaking up that water. He'll probably come back. Mosquitoes are crazy right now, so he'll probably keep it moving, but wanted to come out see what we can find. Uh, huge shout out to our sponsors, uh, Fry's Critters, as well as Zilla Footwear. Guys, make sure to check out the description. Uh, we do have our link tree in there. Zilla Footwear has some amazing, unique shoes that are all reptiles themed as well as they have amphibians, uh, invertebrates, tons of scorpions, tons of frogs, tons of stuff guys. So definitely check them out. It's double sided print, ships all over the world, free shipping over, or any orders over a hundred and twenty dollars. So definitely check them out guys and let's see what else we find tonight. I mean right off the rip we find these. Let's see if we find any uh, rattlesnakes or anything else. So stay tuned. So we drove up a little bit of ways and look, there's tons of them in this just tiny little pond. There's some jumping up on the bank over there. There's this big dude right here. Look at this guy. Let's get up close on him. Look how dark he is. Blends in with the mud. You know what, guys? There's actually movement in it. There's tadpoles in this. Oh, there's one right in front of us. And there's this guy right here. Look at these. There's actual tadpoles in here. Look at that. Look at all the, that right there on the corner, guys. That's all, all those little black dots. Those are all tadpoles. And if you look right here in the middle, they're actually just popping up to the surf. And this is teeming with tadpoles of different ages. That is crazy. Is the camera picking that up? Mm-hmm. I wonder if I can grab some. You going out in that mud? Do we have, do we have a cup or a clear cup? Mm -hmm. I'm going to see. See if I can try to get some of these in this cup. See how soft this mud is. It's not actually that bad, actually. I say that and I slip. I got a cup. Look at that guys. These are baby tadpole Colorado River toads. This one's already got feet. Look at that. Karen picking that up? A little bit, but look at that. Super cool. I'm gonna put them back in the water. Hopefully they make it, but the sad thing is there's a lot of them already out of the water that I'm trying to flick back in. It's a sad thing about Arizona, but somehow these guys adapt really well. Oh, there's one right here stuck on this little pond. Come here, little buddy. Let me help you. Look at this little guy. Just get him back in the major pond. Thank you, bud. Good luck. The only thing that sucks about the Arizona weather is even though it, when it rains really well, everything starts breeding, but it dries so fast. 
But, I mean, these guys seem to be thriving pretty well. I don't know entirely if these ones will make it, but we'll definitely see if you see a ton of babies, you know, later on in the season. But all the big ones pushed off over there, over that cliff. What's under the ground crawling? Oh, it's just bugs. I thought it was babies. Let's see what's in this puddle. Yeah, there's tons more tepals in here. Look at that. Literal ton of them. And right on the bank too, there's some that are just hiding out. How close I can get. Maybe that's soft, soft. That is really nice. Whee! If I fall in the mud, guys, you guys have to like and follow. <laughs> Too smart. These ones are bigger. Yeah, these ones are huge. Ah, I got a couple. I got more than a couple. They just jumped right on in. Woo! I have a shoe full of mud. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's see how big these guys are. There's one. This guy's not that much bigger, but he does have his legs. Look, he's got he's got all his legs out, front and back. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. He's got his tail, but he's still got legs. How cool is that? Let's see. And it's super cool. And these are, this is actually a mix. This is Colorado River Toad and then the little one right there. It's under the bunch right there, Trent, right coming out. That one is a couch of speedfoot. Or coach of speedfoot, whatever. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna put them back in the pond. Here you guys go. How cool is that? I mean, it's only been raining for like two days. There might be more rain coming. It looks like it's coming this way. There's lightning out in the distance. So hopefully it rains for these guys' sake. But, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. I think... I can't tell if that's a Mojave. I haven't gotten close yet. That's a Mojave. Beautiful Mojave. I think this is a boy. Really good looking too. Nice face. He's oh no, just cruising. that's not a mobby. No, he just got a cool pattern on his face. No, that's an Aatrox. Really cool looking Aatrox. Big male. He's just cruising across the road here. Beautiful male. Really dark. And I'm not even gonna mess with him. I got my snake hood just in case, but. He's going on his own way. No, yeah, he's going out. He's ton flicking. He's hunting. He's looking for food, which we've had already passed like 30 kangaroo rats and tons of toads. I, I, guys, toads are out in force tonight. So are leopard frogs. They are everywhere. And I don't want this video just being nothing but toads. So I'm going to try to find as many different species as we can. So finding this is pretty cool. I think he's thinking of what is that bottle? <laughs> Look at him go. And look at this crazy little beetle just freaking out here. <laughs> Potato bug. But if you listen, he was very close to us. He didn't even care. Not a single rattle, no defensive posture, nothing. Just cruising along his way, hanging out. 
going into this muddy area. I actually think he's going to go sit right, probably post up right up in here and wait for something to come through. A beautiful animal. leave him on his way let's see what else we can find we're not too far from where we were just at we're going up this road um, as you can see at the end of this road I'm gonna point out real quick you see those headlights coming this way those big old lights out there guys this is why I grab my snake hook when I see snakes on the road I try to move them off I know everybody says let nature take its course and all that other stuff but this isn't letting nature take its course you know or, or, you know people aren't part of nature so, you know, vehicles aren't going to be driving through the desert, you know, trying to run these guys over. So, he's over here taking a drink. If you guys look, this is actually a canal. We'll probably spot more frogs in here, I'm not going to lie. But he probably came right from in here, took a drink. This is drying up because they're going to do some maintenance. But he probably took a drink from here. Yeah, you see there's water over there, some frogs in it. But he probably took a drink, came out, and came across. That looks like an owl. Pretty well, might have been. Beautiful. Might have been one of the baby barns. Probably, there has been a ton of barns. What's up, guys? Check out this guy. Young one, but look at him. Thick he is. Look at that color. Very red. What's that? Oh! It's a toad. <laughs> he just came out of that hole. Also, look how big that freaking hole is. You are beautiful. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but he's got a lot. Uh, this one's got like a lot of pink and reds coming through the sides. That's really cool looking. That is beautiful. I don't want to disturb it, but I also really want to move it so you guys can like get a better look. Here, let me see the camera. I'm gonna get up close. I'll give you the stick. Hi, you are beautiful. Look at that, guys. A lot of bugs out tonight. This is another Crotalus Atrox, also known as the Western Diamondback. And you are just super beautiful. I'm going to have to figure out the nighttime settings, guys, and I'm going to have to get a uh, better nighttime camera. Um, but, I mean, I'm going to get it right up in front of him. Look at this hole. I think he actually may have came out of this hole. He's just right there. Uh, the toad just came out of that hole. I'm kind of just taking you guys with me to see what we find here. Some frogs in this bush. But this guy. Amazing colors. So that's snake number two of the night. So I'm going to leave that one alone. And let's see. Oh, you got some tongue flicks. Probably gonna move because we're messing with it. But again, no defensive rattle. And I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was I was really close on when I got up to him. But no defensive rattle whatsoever, and being just really chill. So let's see what else we can find before these uh, mosquitoes eat us alive. Yo, look! I thought it was a sidewinder, but it's a little baby Atrox. That tiny little dude. Oh, I'm trying to. Look how small he is. I normally don't want to mess with him, but I really want to pull him out of there. Nah, he's comfortable. Oh, you're he's so... burrowed a little bit. so. Yeah, I think he was originally sitting there, and now he's sitting here. Oh my god, he's so small, guys. It's a little baby. Nice fat baby, though. That's cool. He's, he's no older than six months. 
That that dude's six months and under. There's no way. That guy's so small. Again, how did you spot that? I have no idea. I just I have a great eye for these things. But we're gonna keep it moving. I don't want to bother him too much. I want to pull him out because I just want to. I just really want to look at him. But, but he looks like he's in he's, hunting he's mode. He's in hunting mode, and I don't want to mess with him. Uh, but these bugs are killing us, guys. They're so humid out right now that every anything and everything is moving. I don't know if you if the camera's picking up all these bugs. It is. <laughs> yeah, they're they're a nightmare right now. Um, but look at that. That is beautiful. I love the coloration on him. Beautiful pattern. I mean, look how defined. I don't know if the cameras can pick that up. How defined that is here. Let me trade you. I'll get right up on him. I'm not afraid. <laughs> And when I t say I'm not afraid, guys, it's not that my wife's afraid, but I know their strike range a little better than she does. And it's just because I've been dealing with these for most of my life. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, you're so beautiful. And I'm, I'm not in strike range, but I, I kind of am. Like, he could try, but he's not going to get far. That is so pretty. All right, we're gonna leave him alone. I don't want to piss him off. I don't know how I spotted that though, guys. But we'll see what else we can find. Snake number three. It's turning out to be an awesome.